Um, okay, so Dennis, you're asking about setting up one-click upsells for Stripe. I will show you exactly how to do this. Um, there's probably some videos related to this. If so, uh, Cynthia will paste them in there, but I will just, this is really straightforward. So I'm just gonna share my screen and demonstrate that to you. Um, so the first part of this is a one-click upsell, or sorry, a one-click purchase. I'll, I'll split it into two parts. There's the purchase part, and then there's the upsell part. Okay, so regarding a purchase, all we need is um, a purchase link. So, um, so I'll click purchase links on the product settings screen and I will copy um, this purchase link. Now, there's two options here. I have one that I can put on my website. Um, actually, Let me um, let me just think about how to how to do this for you. Okay, so in order to demonstrate one-click upsells, we're going to need two products, right? Because a one-click purchase happens um, after you have already purchased something because the first purchase is when the card gets put on file, right? So you make the first purchase, the card gets put on file, and now going forward, any subsequent purchases you wanna make can be done with one click because the card's on file, right? So a typical scenario in which this is done is if you have um, a basic membership and an advanced membership and you want to upgrade from one, you want to upsell the advanced membership after the purchase of the basic membership. Um, yes, the, the recording of this video will be sent to all the attendees. So yes, you'll, you'll get it. Um, okay, so, so here I've got, um, Let's see, I've got my monthly membership and I've got an annual membership. So let's say that I want, when people buy this monthly membership product, I want to offer them an upsell to this annual membership product. Okay, so what I wanna do is go to my pages, uh, all pages, that's not pages, okay. And I'm gonna add a new page. And you wouldn't call your page this, but for the sake of our understanding, I'm gonna call this um, uh, upgrade offer. And I want this page to be displayed to everyone who has just purchased the monthly membership. Because on this page, I wanna offer them the advanced membership. So to member mouse, this is called a confirmation page. And we can see down here, member mouse options under core page settings, I'm gonna specify that this is a confirmation page. And it's a confirmation page that should be displayed after somebody's purchased something. And now I want to, now it shows me a list of all the products in my system. And I need to check off which products um, after being purchased should redirect to this page. So um, the product is, oops. Was the monthly membership. What was it called? Sorry, <laughs> forget what the product was called. Here we go. So this monthly membership product is associated with the monthly membership. Oops. Oh, I'm not seeing it on here because I already have 
a confirmation page set up for that product. So you can only have one confirmation page set up for a product. That's why I'm not seeing it here. Uh, so let me just cancel out of this. Go back to pages, show all member mouse core pages. And okay, here we go. I already had an upsell page. Okay, so if I click on this upsell page, uh, basically the way that I created this was, and I'm gonna edit as HTML. The way that I created was, was the um, same way, right? I have a confirmation page. I specified uh, that it's a paid product. And I checked off that this page should be shown to people who have purchased this uh, monthly membership product. Okay. And what I'm, what I then put as the content is whatever copy I'm going to put on there <clears throat> to help the person understand why they might want to upgrade. And the, <clears throat> the thing that allows for the one click purchasing is just a purchase link, right? So I say, okay, I want people to upgrade to the annual membership product. So I just copy the purchase link for that, copy that, go back to my confirmation page and paste it in and that's it. So now if I update this page and we'll just view it real quick. Um, oops. I'm not sure why that didn't save anyway. Add the link update. So we see the buy now link on there, right? So now what we're gonna do is go through the entire process. What we've done is we identified that this is the start of the process, this monthly membership product. We then created a confirmation page that we want displayed after somebody purchases that product. And on that confirmation page, we put a purchase link for the product we wanna upsell them to. So now to start the whole process, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this monthly product in an incognito window. Okay, so I am purchasing the monthly membership product and I'll go ahead and submit that order. So now it should take us to the upsell page that we just specified, which it does. And now by default, without you having to do anything, Member mouse, I de member mouse recognizes that there's a card on file. So when, it, when you click buy now, it automatically uh, specifies, okay, do you wanna charge your card? And I say confirm. Now, so you may say, oh, well that wasn't a true one click, right? Because there was a confirmation dialogue, right? Well, you can configure that and let me show you how to do that. Okay, so in, in your purchase link, let me go back to product settings here. Um, in your, so if you, if you forget about this, no worries. In, in the purchase link dialogue, if you click on this link, it'll take you to the smart tag article. So what I'm, and this is the documentation on all the attributes you can pass to that. So what I'm looking for is the bypass confirmation uh, attribute. And I want to set this to false or sorry, I want to set this to true because I do want to bypass the one click upsell confirmation. Okay. So on here in the purchase link smart tag, I just put in the attribute and then the value is bypass confirmation true. So now I update this page. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process that I just went through. I'm gonna purchase the monthly product first and incognito window. Purchase. 
purchase monthly product and submit order. Okay, now, so now when I click buy now, it's not gonna show me the confirmation. So you just have a couple of options. You know, one of the benefits of showing the confirmation dialogue, if you noticed that it lets you confirm, but it also lets you choose to um, uh, use a different card, right? If you don't wanna use the card on file. Also, with regards to the confirmation dialogue, in the product options, you can specify the copy that's displayed in the purchase confirmation message, right? So if, for example, you wanna display a specific message when somebody's about to do a one-click purchase on something, you can do that here um, on the product settings. But anyway, the option's up to you. Um, but as far as the underlying the the fundamental functioning for doing one click purchases all you need is a purchase link um, on your site and then member mouse itself will determine whether or not the current scenario is such that there is a card on file because and this is valuable because you can have um, stripe active on a site and you can also have paypal and paypal is an offsite payment provider. So one, one click purchasing isn't uh, available. So given this, given the fact that you could you all you have to do is put one link on the page and let member mouse do all the work, you don't have to worry about it. So it's really straightforward. Um, so hopefully that answered your question, Dennis. Um, let me know if you have any follow-ups to that.